And today I'm going to be showing you this fixed blade hunting knife set. That's right. It's one sheath, two knives. Let's go ahead, point the camera down, take a closer look, see what you get, and check out some of the use case scenarios for such an amazing little knife. Let's check it out. All right, so this is everything that's going to come in the set. You can see that you have a cleaning cloth right here for polishing and keeping that knife clean. It is made out of a high quality stainless steel. It's actually a 4CR13 stainless steel. Now you might be wondering what this is for. This is of course for hunting, camping, hiking, cooking outdoors, and you can also travel with it in your camper or RV. Now, like I said, it is a two knife set. It does have a real leather sheath for both knives. We're gonna go ahead and pull them out so you can see what they look like. Here's the smaller of the two right here. And then here's the larger. Now these are considered survival hunting slash bushcraft style knives. Now these knives are good for hunting and bushcraft and survival type situations. And as I said, you know, just camping and hiking and just everyday use, to be honest. They are made out of the high quality 4CR13 stainless steel. Now with the larger knife, the overall length is 10.7 inches. The blade is 5.3 inches and it's 1.7 inches in width, and it weighs 4.9 ounces. Now, the smaller blade is a total length of 7.8 inches with a 3.9 inch blade and a 1.3 inch thickness, and it weighs 3.4 ounces. Now, they are full tang by design. This one actually has a full metal tang with the ring that you can hook your finger into to give you a much better grip on the knife, and it also has steel scales on both sides which is very very cool you're never going to break that handle that's for sure and this handle right here it has the same it has the same ring in the back that you can slip your pinky in to give you a nice firm grip on the knife so it doesn't fling out or you don't ever lose this knife and it's also wrapped in a leather wrap instead of having actual like scales on it now the leather wrap is multi-purpose of course if you're in a survival situation it can act as a twine or a string or you can just leave it on the knife, of course, and use it as your handle to protect your hand. Now these knives are forged and you can tell by the design in the blades. You can see right there the forging marks. And this particular stainless steel is extremely hard, so it's gonna retain an edge quite well. And these knives do come very, very sharp. And we are gonna go out and test this a little bit. We're gonna chop some wood and then uh, cut a few things with it to see how well it retains that edge, because I'm sure you wanna know. But another feature I want to point out as well is you can see how the blade has this edge right here, like this little roll point. And what that does is that prevents your hand from slipping up and sliding up on the blade. So it's basically a finger guard. It's going to protect your fingers from the blade. So I think what we need to do now is let's go ahead. We're going to take this outside and give it a couple tests. All right, so we're out here in the front yard with this knife set. And we're going to give it a few tests. We have a piece of nylon rope. It's a thin rope, but it is nylon. We also have copper wire. And of course, we have various chunks of wood that we're going to be hacking on. And we're going to save the nylon rope for last because that's going to be easiest to cut. And we want to see how much we're going to dull the blade. So we're going to use the big blade right here. And first, we're going to just kind of shave some. You can see that it's cutting right into this no problem. So this is going to be great for camping and hunting if you're setting traps and you need to carve some stakes. You could also use it technically for some light chopping, even though not really recommended. But you can see it's carving that quite easily. We're going to go ahead and test out the copper wire. Now, ideally in nature, you're not going to be cutting copper wire, but we want to see how well this blade cuts. And it cut right through that like it was nothing. This thing is very sharp, just so you can see the copper. So you do need to be quite careful with this blade. We're going to chop on this larger log here for a second. Now this is more of a rotten piece of wood. 
but this isn't. So we've been beating on it a little bit. Let's see how well it cuts the nylon rope. Just like it is nothing. This thing is holding its edge very well. It's very sharp. It's an extremely tough blade. You're going to be quite satisfied with the build quality and the edge holding capability of this little knife. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.